Welcome to Rock DIY or Do It You. If you do it, then it's all you. I am not encouraging anyone to use an Alaskan chainsaw mill or make one. This is just the method that I used. I became interested in this project due to the 16 black walnut trees that I had cut down on my property. This is a picture of all the items that are required to set up an Alaskan chainsaw mill. The blocks that I pre-cut. These blocks can be combined in order to cut thicker slabs. Of course the more blocks that I combine the longer my bolts have to be. I can orient the bolts up or down but I may want the wing nuts on the top side so I can see whether they are loosening up or not. The top board guide can be as thick as I want it to be but I have to keep in mind that I'm losing cutting area. Most importantly, the top board guide must be as straight as possible in order to get flat slabs. Depending on how the bolts are oriented, I always make sure the large flat washers are against the wood. Smaller ones dig into the wood. In this picture, the bolts are oriented down, but can be oriented up so the wing nuts are on top. This is the Alaskan chainsaw mill set up for one and a half inch cut. It's an 18 inch Ryobi chainsaw that is being used. The black walnut that is seen underneath the chainsaw was cut with this Alaskan chainsaw mill. This picture displays the proper orientation for cut. If it is oriented with the fuel and oil caps down, the chain will not get oil and the chainsaw will bog down from not getting any fuel. The chainsaw blade already had a hole in it for one of my top board guide bolts. The other hole I had to drill myself. I made sure this hole was not too close to the adjusting slot on the blade. For this chainsaw blade, the holes were 10 and 7 eighths of an inch on center. Although it would have offered more stability for the left edge of the top board guide to be against the body of the chainsaw, I decided to leave an inch of space to prevent the board from being burned by the exhaust. I made sure the top board guide is wider than the chain and blade. The guide being wider allows the board guide to sit on the wood to be cut before the chain starts to cut. Not having this would cause the chain to bounce all over before actually cutting. This is just another view showing the assembled Laskin chainsaw mill oriented upward. I've used both 5 inch and 6 inch bolts and I was concerned with stability when the bolts got longer, but it is actually pretty stable because the blocks offer additional stability when the wing nuts are tightened. This is a representation of what the Alaskan chainsaw mill looks like when cutting a log. This picture assumes the top of the log is already flat. If the top of the log isn't flat, it can be routed or plain flat before cutting slabs with the Alaskan chainsaw mill. Routing a log flat with a router sled will be covered in another video. These are slabs of black walnut that I cut with the Alaskan chainsaw mill. Thanks for watching my video. I truly appreciate it. Hopefully the video was useful in your plans for a future DIY project. Please like, comment, or subscribe. Thanks again.